we'll go down here and check some more and see what's down here. Well, all this down here has been cut. It's been raked. It's not been bailed yet. Let's go check the other side. So all of this down here has been cut on this side. I don't know about the other side of the creek, um, but everything on this side of the creek has been cut. So this piece here is, Dad calls it 60 acres. And it's actually, according to the map, it's like 115 or something. But that's with all the wood line, tree lines, and all that. So, the neighbors said they need a little extra hay. Since we're behind, and all this is going to get old before we could get to it, Dad told them that they could go ahead and cut this side here and make hay and take it and all that. The other side, he told the other neighbor that's on that side that he could have the other side since the other neighbor was mentioning how he's going to be short on hay this year. So, does not look cut on the other side, but I can't tell. But uh, they definitely cut this side. Um, so we're a little behind. So normally in past years, we don't even, I mean, we used to always cut and bale all of it, everything. But past years, yeah, it's just been bush hogging a lot of this. So, um, but yeah, that's another, uh, I don't know how many acres it would be. I don't know what the, I don't know what the, uh, the actual field numbers are on, on this side to, down here but anyways that's all cut but yeah this place over here this is our pasture land so all the years that we've been farming this is where we would put the dry cows and let them roam dry cows and you know heifers you know older heifers you know expecting heifers dry cows they would come down here um and they would just roam around and do their thing. And then, you know, when the time was right, we'd come down, we'd round them up, we'd load up, you know, whatever ones we're expecting in the next, you know, time period. And uh, we'd load them up and haul them back to the dairy barn. And we put them in there in the feed shed. The feed shed there was where the dry cows lived when they weren't down here. Um, and that's what we would do pretty much my entire life. We made hay off of this, and the dry cows would be down here. So, that's what we do with this hunk of land over here. But anyways, um, we've been renting that hump of hunk. We've been renting that hunk of land for, I don't know, since like 1960 or something. But anyways... Catch y'all later. Going on. Howdy, y'all. June 17th. We loading hay bales out the pasture field before the cows completely destroy them.
is learning what it is to operate an international clutch. And she doesn't like it. She's learning all about that international clutch. I can do that with the little bales. I can't do it with the big bales. Let's hope they all stay on. Well, yo, we was doing pretty good here. And our ball come out of the socket on the joystick. Never had that happen before. We had one of these break off one time. Never had the ball come out the joystick and definitely I wasn't pushing on it. But anyways, I guess we gotta go find us a wrench. Because we don't got one. We're almost done unloading this. But I can't do nothing with it now, so. Well the wife lost half the load. Two here. Two or three back there. We lost half the load on the way here. Well, it's worse than I thought. She lost three here and three back there. Well, we've had to stop and put some hydraulic oil in the tractor. And then Emily had an issue with the other tractor. So we gotta go put some diesel fuel in that. Either that or it's got bad filters. Our hydraulic ball came apart five times. Not this one, the other one. That one right there popped out of joint like five times. So clearly something up in here is loose. Oh, this is nice, that's all loose. Look. I just saw you yank on it too. That's all loose. Maybe that's our problem. Oh, this is this whole plate is loose. I don't know. Well, we just tighten all that plate up and all them allens are loose. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. Cause this whole plate was just loose, just moving. This whole thing's moving. So anyways. I'll probably do it. So, Emily was coming back up the driveway and the bulldozer kept shutting off on her. It fired right back up, but then it kept shutting off on her and fired right back up and shut off on her. It's got fuel in it, so it's probably fuel filters. So we need to change those next. But it's like eight o'clock, we're going home. Emily's over here feeding Mama Moo. And her little baby back there. Dad's going to get a hay bale. And Harvester's helping him. I'm going to put it in here for Mama Moo. Oh, Harvester helping Pop Pop. Here's them other bales she lost back here. Going out. Well, my uncle come along and they hooked the 48 up to the hay tether. And they tethered that most of that whole field over there, I think. And then there was some kind of issue with my uncle. So everybody they all everybody stopped what they were doing and go run go run to help him. These old men are just falling apart, you know? I'm falling apart too. I already feel it. But anyways, we'll keep on going. Well, earlier a hay rake come rolling in. These are all the bales that he just got off our pasture field down there. So the hay rake come rolling in a little bit, little bit ago. And uh, 
with that John Deere over there. Another John Deere come along, went up the road. So that's all the hay bales they just went down there and made on the pasture land down the road here. I guess he uh, borrowed the other neighbor's truck to haul them with. But uh, that's his skid loader. See how easily that skid loader handles them bales? Mm -hmm. That skid loader is so much bigger than the one we got. So much more weight to it compared to the one we got. But yeah, they went down there and bailed all that up today, this evening. They over here just having a shindig. It's a 30 day. Down in here restringing the baler again. Trying to get into the grease fitting. Find, clean it up. Emily went to go get the grease gun. So this is what the electric tie looks like up under here. This little motor right here. This little motor runs a gear, which runs, runs a gear, runs this sprocket which runs that sprocket, which runs that gear, and that drives the the arms. Right now, the arms are in the extended position. When the arms get about right there is when the string starts feeding um, on the baler. And then it comes all the way over here, and then goes all the way back around, and then it pulls the string up in the knife, Pulls the rod, cuts the, cuts the, uh, cuts the string. But we're down here getting the string out of the pickup and put some grease in here while we're doing this. And that's what we're doing on this fine Father's Day. Went out and had something to eat. Went out and, uh, ate dinner with dad and the whole family but came home and did a little bit of nothing now it's the evening time it's nice and cool we come over here restring the baler get ready to go for monday She got it cleaned off a little bit there. I'm going home. Got the babies out here just laying down. Enjoying the cool evening here. Cows just eat. Dad and my uncle are in that field raking and bailing. Dad's back here bailing somewhere. Emily and Harvester hold the four wheeler down in case my uncle needs to go. Help me. Get 
filming. Well, it's raining. It's after 8 o'clock. Dad parked the baler. I don't know how much he got done back out back there in the hill, but it's raining now. It's supposed to rain for another five or six days. Mr. Headings, thank you for helping to do the hay today. <laughs>